So welcome on board this uh, Paris flight from Abu Dhabi to Paris on that 380 aircraft. Um, today special, uh, you're flying with a female cockpit crew. So my name is Sophie Blanchard, I'm the captain. Um, I'm flying with uh, Shema, and uh, today Shema will operate the flight from Abu Dhabi to Paris, so she will uh, do the briefing right now. Uh, hello everyone. Today we're going to operate, me and Captain Sophia, we'll operate uh, from Abu Dhabi to Paris. Uh, it's Etihad uh, 037. Uh, I'll be both flying to Paris, so I would like to um, uh, give you a briefing for the flight. Uh, aircraft technical status is checked. Uh, weather no special uh, uh, condition for now, but uh, we have a wet runway. We can expect as well on departure, maybe. Yeah, and we might expect some uh, turbulence, but that's later on in the higher flight levels. Um, daily is check, a weekly uh, is done. Uh, for takeoff, packs will be on. Anti ice for now is not required. We might put the anti ice later if we need. Okay. Uh, we stand on 309er. It's our parking today, so taxi instruction uh, expected to be towards that side. It's Eco Niner and then Eco to full length uh, runway 31 left. Uh, departing from 31 left on deck sub 1 kilo. Mm -hmm. First way point is Alpha Alpha 820. And 8 uh, miles from there, we'll fly to Optol. We have altitude constraint 5000 and above to Boxot. So we have a speed constraint 250 and uh, 9,000 feet from there to um, Daxip, and we have uh, 5,000 uh, feet is the initial. Uh, Initially, yeah. Yep, and we have uh, uh, departure frequency 1281, which I put it here on the standby. Okay, so all altitude on QNH at this stage. Yes. Yep. Nav 8, we have Abu Dhabi. A fuel we have discussed earlier, and uh, uh, Captain, you agreed to have uh, the fuel we have on board. Uh, obviously, we carried uh, two tons more uh, for uh, weather expected to be en route. Information is inserted, uh, alternate. Uh, and for takeoff performance, we did the takeoff performance with cross check with the Avionix. We take off with the flap one. Uh, speeds 141, 58, 163, flex is 70. All is checked, packs, when, uh, packs on, anti ice is off. Climb because we are light today, so the rate, rated to climb is free. In cruise, we have, have inserted all the step ups in here. And um, flight uh, plan is inserted, cross checked with the flight plan we have in here. All is the same, that's cross-checked also with the flight time, 6 hours 38, 33, distance 2982 and distance 29880. Also secondary, we have secondary one is return to Abu Dhabi with the engine out procedure. Uh, engine out procedure is uh, 15 miles from the center line. We turn left to Votok and hold over Votok, which is inserted in here. Uh, performance is set as well. Approach weather, minimize to 83431 left. Okay. Second, 32 is escape routes. Um, we have a lot of escape routes in our routes, a lot of trains, and everything is set in here. We can cross check it. So, yeah, routes is inserted. Second, 32 just insert the uh, sector for the flight plan. This is all about the FMS setting. Uh, we have the emergency briefing. Any failure below V1 in your call, go stop. If you call stop, I'll monitor reverse the cell. Once you set parking brake on, I'll talk to the ATC. We stopped on the runway. If your call is go, no action has been taken except cancel a warning, gear up, fly the aircraft, trim it. Uh, we engage autopilot, and then if it's engine failure, we try to secure the engine, depending on the situation we have. Once we secure the engine or we approach the altitude, we'll push the living to clean the aircraft and follow up normal procedure. We, ca we can return to Abu Dhabi if the weather is okay. And uh, uh, we, if time permits, we can dump fuel. Otherwise, we can do overweight landing checklist and follow the procedure. 
um, engine out uh, procedure from yeah. here, as we secondary. discussed, yes. yeah, okay. which is a certain secondary. So Anything yeah, just to point, if we, if we have to come back, uh, we can jettison um, what is in those tanks, yeah. which I think still going to put us above the max landing weight. Yeah. So we have that limitation of uh, max landing weight plus uh, 60 tons, Check. which is uh, 454, so we still can come back on a safe yeah. uh, overweight landing. So yeah. that's good. Yeah, and of course, TOG is available. We're light today, but if we need to use TOG, TOG is available. That's the weather out of Abu Dhabi. Okay. The, uh, we have wind shear all runaway. So in case we get uh, yeah. predictive wind shear, yeah. so we will have the, the drawing on the ND. And uh, if we are not still there, we can change configuration. Okay. We can or not can put TOGA, but as it's there, for me, it's better we put TOGA sure. and we see if we can change on that configuration. I will call you the, the parameters. If we have a reactive wind shear, hmm. TOGA, we don't change configuration as long as we are in the wind shear. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. That's all from my side. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No more questions. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so now we are boarding the last passenger, so we have a few minutes. I can explain quickly uh, those, uh, the 380 works and what is our reference. So primary flight display will give you your attitude and the heading we are taking, the modes, automatic mode we are using. Uh, we got as well the, that's representation of a wing when we put the slats down, that's a gear uh, representation. We got all the information which is, as it's called, primary flight display. So that's what we are mainly looking at to fly. So navigation display, first of all, when we start, we have a fantastic system on the 380 which is guiding us uh, during the taxi phase. So it's showing us the airport uh, design, actually, which taxi we were taking. It's uh, really fantastic. And then we have the in-flight display, which is showing so we can choose the mode. This is our route, the green line. That's the point we are going to overfly with the in purple. That's uh, the constraint we have to respect. So that's giving us a really good idea where we're going. And on the 380 as well, we have that fantastic, again, uh, vertical uh, profile. So you can see in brown here is the, um, the terrain, and then you have the weather indicating on here, but it's not on yet. So this computer actually is giving us all the information about the flight. So that's um, a computer where we, uh, we load all the flight plans. So we got different page, I would say. So this is the initial page. This is the flight plan. So again, all the points you've seen on the navigation display that we're going to overfly with the constraint, uh, the track, the distance between them. We can even change and get uh, the fuel we're going to have above those points. Uh, really helpful for the, the flight plan. Uh, we got a performance page as well where we enter the um, the speeds for takeoff, the configuration of uh, the packs, the anti-ice and everything, uh, the climb phase, cruise phase, descent phase, approach phase, and go-around phase. Um, then we got uh, some other pages where we ent enter some uh, um, some information. Then that's a control. It's a redundancy of something else we have uh, where we can control if we want the weather, if we want uh, the transponder and some other system of the aircraft. So this is the uh, engine warning display. So this is where we can uh, uh, see all the parameters of uh, first uh, the engine, which is constantly uh, during the cruise. And then if we have any problem on board, uh, there will be an ECAM here. It's coming, and then we have to follow. This is the procedure, actually. So it's really well oriented that we can see everything in a short and small uh, place. The system display, where we can select and uh, have a good uh, simplify uh, view of all the system we have electricity hydraulic fuel so this is all our tank uh, like for the hydraulic you see each engine where it's going it's really simplified and for us to visualize w which line which pipe which everything is in use or not or valves or something like this this is not the engine I shut down so you we don't see any parameters but that's the engine page we got the bleed page where the the air is coming from each engine and going through the system this is the pressurization 
page where this is representation of the aircraft. That's the outflow valve, and we modulate all these during different Company phase of flight. Alert. This is electricity. Uh, that's the fuel system. So this is a representation of each tank and uh, where it's going, which, which which pump and valves are used in use for the the engine. That's the hydraulic. Each engine again with the two reservoir we got. Uh, that's the APU, which is the auxiliary power unit that we use on the ground to get uh, air and uh, electricity. That's uh, air conditioning, so that's the uh, upper deck, sorry, the main deck, and that's our cargo compartment. And where, where the air temperature, that's how we regulate it. Uh, that's the door page, so we can check each door, so now we only got one more door open. All the other ones are closed, but uh, not armed yet. And we got a quick um, overview of the oxygen pressurization, uh, the pressure of the oxygen, sorry, for the cockpit, the cabin, uh, time and uh, gross weight and fuel on board. That's the main page. Um, electricity again for another part. And that's our wheel, so we can see each single wheel with the temperature, and uh, we can even get the pressure of the tire. And that's a representation of our landing gear. So the nose gear, we've got two below the body and two below the wing. Okay. And what makes us fly as well, the flight control page. So you got all the spoilers, uh, uh, elevator, rudder, yeah, and that's an indication. So now we just received the load sheet, which is the final weight of uh, passenger and uh, luggage and cargo on board. So we are inserting it in the in the computer to get the exact configuration of the aircraft. Is it your CG? CG three four decimal one. Confirm. Take off weight. Four three one decimal four. Perfect. And uh, Macto. Macto's uh, three nine decimal six. Within one percent. Yeah. Uh, one four six one eight. It's me pen three seats. Confirm. It's all done. Checked. And set. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sophie Blanchard. I'm your captain today. With me in the cockpit, Senior First Officer Shaima. We're pleased to welcome you on board this Etihad flight EY037 to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Time to destination is around 6 hours and 35 minutes at a final cruising altitude of 40,000 feet. Our cabin manager, Stanley, and his team are here to ensure your safety and well-being. The weather around the is forecast it to be good, but as a safety precaution, I recommend you to keep your seatbelt loosely fastened when seated, even if the seatbelt sign is off. We shall get back to just by our distance to Paris with an updated arrival time as well as the latest weather. Be right, PC back, relax, and enjoy your hospitality and flight services. Thank you. Mesdames, Messieurs, les enfants, bonjour. Mon nom est Sophie Blanchard. Je suis votre commandant de bord. Avec ma collègue Shaima et le reste de l'équipage, nous avons le plaisir de vous accueillir à bord de cet Airbus A380 à destination de Paris Charles de Gaulle. Le temps de vol sera d'environ 6 h 35 minutes à une altitude croisière de 40 000 pieds. Le chef de cabine Stanley et son équipe sont à votre disposition pour votre sécurité et votre confort. La météo en route est prévue pour être bonne. Néanmoins, je vous demanderai de garder votre ceinture attachée lorsque vous êtes assis, même si la consigne est tête. Je vous souhaite un agréable voyage. Ready. Yeah, shall I ask for clearance? Yep. Yeah. Before I start checklist. Cockpit operation. Completed. Uh, completed gibbons and covers. Removed. Fuel quantity. Checked. Take up data. Set. Power value. 1012 set. 1012 is set. 60 feet. Check. Down to the line. Completed. Check. Box slot and hold short echo 9 box slot 217. Yeah, for 10 kilograms south, start pushback approved. And face to the east. The QNH now is 1012. Push on a start approved to the east. QNH 1012, wait out for 7 kilo. Area 622, uh, and uh, start pushback approved now, facing east with QNH 1012. Area 78 whiskey, ground south, good morning, start pushback approved, face east with QNH 1012. Start and push is approved, uh, facing to the east, uh, 1012, good morning, Area 78 whiskey. And below the line, please. Below the Area line. 79 again, key, uh, ground south, good morning, start pushback approved, face east with QNH 1012. Okay, windows and doors? Closed. Closed. Parking brake? Off.
Yeah, good. Okay, starting. Roger, Eddie, A3 whiskey, turn right, Echo 9, Echo, Echo 1, 5, holding point, runway 3, 1 left. Check. Echo 9, Echo, Echo 1, 5, holding point, runway 3, 1 left. Study 1. Echo 1, Echo 9, I proceed south taxi way, so short of Foxtrot 3, 1. Proceeding south taxi way, so long short of Foxtrot 3, 1, ATL 9. Eddie, 6, 4, 1, your number 1 to company, Dreamliner, coming up on your right. Okay, so now we have reached a point of yeah, rotation where the fuel is injected. So actually the engine is just starting now. That's the temperature which is occurring, so that's the limit, so we're watching it. Everything looks fine for the moment. It is Starting to... Roger, and then we clear tow short Echo 14. Also, Echo 14, ADA 641. One five four separation, sir. Continue steady, Echo 15, ADA 641. Ground to copy. Yeah, good. Push back, it's complete. Break to be set, please. Okay, number two is stabilized. Starting three. Jet A3 Whiskey, morning to over the tower south, over 9 at SO2, bye bye. Thank you. Okay, number 3, stabilized as well. Last one, starting 4. Check. At half 6 to 2, requesting that. More than Echo 9, uh, short of Echo. Flight uh, control check, uh, yes. Roger, you got a clearance, confirm? Uh, we do have Fuller? clearance. Okay, Roger. Hold down. Echo, Echo, just... Uh, echo, Echo, 13, Sandra, 208, it's a hard 9... Okay, that's checked. Thank you, I have to start checklist. After start checklist, yeah, anti-ice. Flight control, check, and checked. Hold, 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 check, and checked. And checked. After start check is completed. Check. Yep. And taxi clearance. Sure. Area 10, here whiskey, continue, echo 1, thank you. Area 4, 10 kilo, and you can take echo 9, and hold short echo. Take left and echo 9, and hold short of echo, 80 hertz for 10 kilo. Left is clear. And clear right. Lights are on. Yep. Area 3, 2, 1, ground. Right check. Pressure is Guard, uh, zero. Area 3, 2, 1, advise your ground crew. So uh, clearance is uh, echo 9, zero, or short echo. From three, zero, check. Nine. You can commence your pushback to face to the east of BMK 309 and give way to the taxing out traffic. I'll copy, uh, the hard, uh, one. Yeah, 321, please read back facing east on team, uh, BMK 309, give way to Airbus 320, uh, 380. Uh, pushback facing east, uh, BMK 309, uh, hard, uh, with back, uh, copy the traffic, hard, 321. Yeah, 321. Yeah, 78 Whiskey to uh, contact our south, number 9.2, bye-bye. 19.2, thanks, bye, yeah, 78 Yeah, 79 Yankee, continue straight ahead, Echo 15, hold short runway 31F. Yeah, 79 Yankee, right. continue straight ahead, Echo 15, hold short runway 31F. Continue straight ahead, Echo 15, hold short runway 31 left. Sahara 79 Yankee. How about we get on our stages, and good morning, sir? AGL7, touch your message. AGL7, I have taxi via hotel, hold short of my good request, permission to proceed in London taxi via. AGL7, proceed on the north taxi via, hold short of runway 31 right. It's all short to peak. AGL7, proceed in London taxi via, hold short of runway 31 right, AGL7. ADS47, Kilo, to continue taxi, Echo Echo 15, holding point, runway 31 left. Echo Echo 15, hold, 131 left, it can't force. Yeah, 2 3 Bravo, up at ground now. Good morning, start okay. pushback proof to face to the east with QNH 1012. Push and start facing east, steady head. Uh, 2 3 Bravo. Yeah, 
area 798 to monitor over the south south, 119 number 2 
Positive climb. Get up. Now, check. Good morning, HF 770, Super Passing 1100, that's 1 kilo. Get off Good morning, Mobile Radar identified, climb under Super level 150, HF 1500, HF 1100. Okay, 150, pull please. Open climb, 150, blue. Check. Okay, autopilot, please. Thank you. So, open climb, autopilot, you. Okay, flap zero. Speed check. Flap zero. Checked. Yeah, four seven kilo. Direct to Daxa. Direct to Daxa. It's at four seven kilo. Okay, direct to Daxa. Direct taxi, and uh, may I suggest that Check. we um, take the direct climb out? Yeah. Then we climb above that. Checked. Faster. Just climb. Press climb straight. Okay, after take off yeah, climb to Augusta. Taxi to all one two nine. This one five one seven. One two nine one five. Half to two two one two. Down to the line complete. Checked. Okay, do we need anti? Oh yeah, fine, no need, fine. Fine in here, but yeah, yeah. Universe 1211 Alpha, uh, vectors for Roma 31 left, turn right, heading of 100. Right, heading 100, runway 31 left, in Fox 1211. Alpha descent 2500 uh, feet and expiratio descent. 2500 feet, 2500 feet, expiratio descent. 2500 feet, expiratio descent. 2500 feet, I have a question, I think I have 47 kilo, hello, climb, fly level 220 Climb level 220, I have 47 kilo 220 blue, check, must be selected We keep the seat belt, yeah Ten thousand feet, check complete, check At the 47 kilo, Set what is the final? Which level are you able by early? Uh, yeah. The head 47 kilo request right level 340 will be leveled by 40. 
Just go on 260, climb maybe. Climb yeah. For zero flight plan route. Thanks. Please say your request. Bauer value. Stand up set. Stand up set. And to take off flight check. Let's go. Check. Number five nine. Thanks. And which level are you able by run? And I think we can go manage. We wait a little bit for two six zero. Yep. Yeah. Agree. So you go managed? Yes. Speed is managed. Check. Kilo UE one two four three seven five. Bye bye. One two four three seven five is here for seven kilo bye bye. UE good morning. It's here for seven kilo super. Passing one five eight for two two zero. It's here for seven kilo by the contact. Climb flight level three two zero, Monsieur. Climb flight level three two zero. It's here for seven kilo. Three two zero blue. Uh, maybe sorry. I uh, keep three hundred. Yeah. For the speed, speed turbulence. Speed yeah. 300. Good morning, Red Contact. Land flight level 360 to maintain over We should be out. Yeah. 800 feet a minute or greater. Uh, Rate of climb 800 feet or greater. It's a hard day, 3 whiskey. Okay, at 7 8 whiskey. Climb flight level 330 non standard. Go set 251, Lorraine, 13285, goodbye. 3285, goodbye. Okay, windows and doors? Closed, closed, wipe and break. Oh, before start, check is complete. Check. Yeah, good? Yeah, good. Okay, starting all phones. Starting one.
we got Kevin already, but sure. So checklist. Yep. Before the checklist. Before take off the checklist. Fly instruments. Checked. Um, checked. Breathing. Confirmed. B1, BR, B2, dust reading. Checked. And check. Scoreboard. Set. Okay, down to the line completed. Check. Well, a good morning it had for seven kilos super already when you watch your up and check. Watch one three one left it has for seven kilos. The departing 320, line up and wait behind and wait 31 left, it had for 7 kilo. I can sit down and look at it. Okay, shall I? Yep. Coming through seats for departure, thank you.
7 kilo clamp for the 340. 340 red for 340 blue and out cruise and blue. Check. Hello, one eight nine. Cruise with VH. Yep. Okay. And with five minus, we're running off by the But there are three zero zero for three four zero. Check. Again, good morning, eight zero seven kilos to that. I think three one three for three four zero. This may lead to our list. Any four four seven kilo behind you are identified and uh, two making a form Lima six zero two Davis. What's your final level request? Three four one. Three four checked. Eight zero four seven kilo two making a form Lima six zero two Davis and three four zero five. Eight zero four seven kilo. Thank you and you're free. Steve. Free Steve. Thank you. It had a three whiskey enable three eight zero. Uh, there is a chance to climb flight level four zero zero later on. It had a three whiskey. Thank you so much. It had a three whiskey. Bahrain Central one two seven. Actually, if we climb at three eight now, we lose five minutes, which uh, we are still uh, thirty thirty minutes ahead of schedule, and we gain four two hundred kilos. We gain four. Okay, we can't go this because we're getting this because of this liar. We can't go. Emirates five nine. How's the ride at your level? 
because they are repulsive. Uh, it's uh, yeah. light, occasionally, occasionally moderate turbulence, MRS 59. I'm not sure we're going to gain anything because the, the jet stream is Firing at flight level 400. We can ask for the right. Flight level 7 Super, hang morning radar contact. Uh, yeah. Flight plan route, MRS 4, Tango Romeo. Kuwait MRS 1, Golf Papa, level 380, good morning. Yeah, Qatar 06, Hotel Radar, contact flight level 300, continue flight power. Echo 8, good morning, Eight head for 7 kilo, super maintaining flight over 340, decimal 83. Echo 8, summer 1, Golf Papa. Hello, Tihad, uh, 4, 7 kilo, Kuwait radar, contact flight over 340, continue flight power. Flight power, no, any chance for flight over 380, for Tihad, 4, 7 kilo. Tihad, maintain 340, continue flight power. 340, flight power, Tihad, 47 kilo. Emirates 1, Golf Papa, contact Baghdad, 127, the small one. 271, Emirates 1, Golf Papa, good day. Barry in 1267, Skarabai 991, Ima, thank you, bye. Great, good morning, Qatar 9X3, Alpha, Super, Mansing, Father, V360, inbound, Davos. Hello, Qatar 9X3, Alpha, Quartet, contact, Fatal 360, continue, Fire, Farrut. Hello, Qatar 9X3, Alpha, Quartet, contact, Fatal 360, continue, Fire, Farrut. Uh, Baghdad, it's Tihad, 84 Echo, good morning, flight level 340. In Mark Decimal 83, it's Tihad, 84 Echo. Qatari 456, Baghdad. Qatari 456. Qatari 456, clear direct Alpha Lima, DFR. So you can see in front, uh, we're, uh, we are at uh, flight level 340. There is uh, the closest aircraft, which is another 380 from Emirates. Is a flight level 360, and a little bit further, there is another 380. Uh, control good, uh, uh, flight Qatari level 380, and uh, now we are following the same route until, uh, I don't know, maybe the entrance of Turkey. So they are, uh, because of them, we cannot fly here. Sorry, 729, our contact back, that's control 129, our decimal 1. 129 at 1, Qatar 729, have a good day. Qatar 1A0, Romeo, report your normal speed. Uh, normal speed will be max 0.79, sir, Qatar 1A0, Romeo. Qatar 402, contact back, that's control 127, decimal 1 for higher. 1271, uh, Qatar 402, bye bye. Baghdad, Qatari, 5 Fox Road, November, request. Any chance to climb at level uh, 360 or 320? 5 Fox November, uh, climb at level 320. Qatari, 180, Romeo, contact Baghdad, control 129 or decimal 1. Uh, okay, now we are cruising at flight level 340, and we have a lot of traffic in our space now. If you can see, there is a 380 up in there. It's Emirates 380. It's 4,000 uh, feet above us. And uh, it's a, a safe separation uh, altitude, but we can also fly 1,000 above each other in RBTM. So it's nice. <laughs> Qatari 3 Golf Charlie, flight level 380 available with Mark 8 for advice. Okay, uh, Qatari uh, 3 Golf Charlie, we are able. Kashmir 2246, traffic to your uh, 2 o'clock. Uh, one, two, seven, one, one, two, seven, one. Two, seven, one is the heart. 
Until further. Until at least to be Thank you very much. Nimba, and then Mark 8243, return. 8243, seeing at 12 level 360, Qatar, 5 folks at the way back. Go ahead, Radius. Thank you. Yes, Sophie? Yes, Sophie? And Etihad, 47 Kilo, with that final speed and deviation, contact tank control, 132 decimal 90. 329 Etihad, 47 Kilo, thank you, bye-bye. Four. Our own call, 25 miles right of track. Roger. On our good depth, and then Etihad, 47 Kilo, super maintaining flight over 340, speed decimal 84, and up to 25 miles right of track. Etihad, 47 Kilo, radar contact, 23 it's here, 47 kilo, climb level 360. Climb flight over 360, it's ahead, 47 kilo, heading of 290. Okay, I'm gonna go, yeah, manage, no, uh, not BS. Yes. So in heading, trust climb, open climb, 360 blue. Okay, this guy is 30 nautical miles, but I think he's on the heading, he's going away as well, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with slow, but. Okay, uh, from 3727. It's here, 47 kilo, climb level 30. Climb at the 380 to head for 70. 380 blue, trust climb, open a climb, cruise blue. Alright, check. Even better. Aim line 9943. Alright, 9943, a beam position Nimba, up to uh, 30 miles right of track, do weather, uh, Magnus and Malay 2. Okay, at 470. Head for 70, go ahead. Proceed Odali, contact 127925. Direct to Odali and 127925 with your head for 7 kilo. Okay, Odali with the beam. And extra alpha. Direct to Odali, yeah. With the beam, yeah. Check. Yep. Check. Mark out the cruise star. Check. Okay, okay. I'm going to send a request direct to Odali. Okay, 40 direct to Odali. Direct to Odali, I'm going to send 907 to check reader. Out cruise. Okay, I'm going to send 3 of Odali. Etihad 47 Kilo, good morning, Titan Flight, reset, square code 3224. 3224 on the square can request level 400, Etihad 47 Kilo. Etihad 47 Kilo, Roger, climb flight level 400. Climb flight level 400, Etihad 47 Kilo. Okay, 400, blue, out cruise. Blue and uh, climbing on BS, 500. Charlie, requesting direct Charlie to avoid. Roger, proceed to Alex. Director Tali, Kutari, 3 Gov Tali, thank you. Check, uh, you have a TC, I'm calling the... I have it, yes. It has 47 kilo contact, 122, that's not 275. 122, 275, it's your head, 47 kilo, thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, that was an interesting 30 minutes, uh, as you saw on the screens, we're trying to uh, deviate from weather. Uh, Captain Sophia asked for um, a heading to avoid uh, some of the clouds and thunderstorms you have uh, in there. Uh, it was really busy. Aircraft uh, above, below, right and left, trying to avoid. Everyone's asking for a different direction. Uh, because we were low, we wanted to climb, and also we wanted to turn to avoid weather. So eventually we get to the chance to turn. Uh, we turned actually like... Uh, 25 parts of the track and because this gave us a separation so we climbed higher flight level 400 which keep us away from uh, weather and turbulence and as you can see now it's more relaxed calm and quiet uh, we're just uh, about three hours from top of descent so i take the opportunity to tell you what is going on here as uh, we just passed some weather now we are more quiet 
Um, actually, we're already about uh, three and a half hours uh, flying time since we took off from Abu Dhabi. We just passed Turkey. And uh, over Turkey, we had uh, some uh, mountain, some terrain. Okay, so the terrain, it's uh, the green part, which is uh, showing an altitude between uh, 3,000 feet and 6,600 feet, and give us a 2,000 um, feet uh, separation from it. So this is the Black Sea, so we're yeah. just out uh, on the on the edge. If we have a decompression and we need to go down to 10,000 feet, we have some special procedure because we cannot go to 10,000. Uh, we need to put the oxygen, do the procedure, and stop at a certain altitude to clear all the terrain. With this white line means we're just going to get out of this zone, of this area. So now we can go down to 10,000 after that. We have always, every 30 minutes, something like this, a check on the, all the system. So now you can see, compared to the ground, uh, all the engines are operating, and uh, we are checking uh, the, the fuel flow, the oil quantity, the oil temperature, the oil pressure, the vibration. So everything is in the green, everything is normal for the moment. And then we have a quick look to all the system, that the bleed system, getting the pressurization correct. Everything is within the limit. If it gets out of the limit, we're going to have some amber indication instead of green indication. And the electricity is fine. Fuel flow, so we got fuel flow is on the other page. That's the fuel quantity left in each tank, and that's the fuel used by each engine there. And you see, as everything is green, means everything is normal. Hydraulic system is fine as well. APU, you see, now it's in amber because it's shut down. We don't use APU in, uh, in flight unless uh, we're on emergency or something like this. But now for the moment, which is the normal procedure, it's shut down, so it's amber. There's no green indication. Air conditioning, it's all fine. It's all fine. So now the door uh, page, again, no amber, everything. Now the difference between the ground, like I was showing that all the doors were closed in green, and now the slide is armed, so we've got an S to indicate this. Other electricity is good. The wheels, now you see compared to the ground as well, uh, the temperature went down, so that's corresponding to 65 degrees. And uh, even this one is at zero. And the flight control, we're flying straight and level, so there is no deployment of any of the, the flight control. And all the computer here, prime, the print, slide, everything is fine. Okay, to destination now, we got 1,400 nautical miles left. So this is the routing to the end. So now we've been cleared direct to the point of called Negem. So that's why here we've got A, B before each waypoint, which is a beam, a beam, a beam. That's keeping us the wind inserted uh, because the distance is quite long here to that waypoint. And then we go back on the airway. Then we change airway. You see that the airway is here. And from this point, we will go this point direct to this one. And all with the timing, the altitude, there's a lot of waypoint to go because we're arriving in Europe. In Europe, there's a lot of airways crossing and everything, so we have a waypoint. You see sometimes 6 nautical miles, 20 nautical miles, one to each other because a lot of airways. Uh, so we're going to overfly Frankfurt, and then uh, that's Luxembourg, and then will be the top of descent. Uh, from top of distance, uh, between those two points, we're going to enter France. And this, you see, we come from, this is top of distance, from 40,000 uh, 40, feet, sorry. And uh, descending, descending, then those uh, purple star means we have some constraint. That's made by uh, Paris approach. From this point, which is the beginning of the um, star, which is the arrival, that's why we have uh, we are all going to follow all the aircraft at the same constraint because it's coming from a, from the chart published by the airport. So we're all going to be at the same altitude, same speed, everything. We have no choice. We have to, com to comply. 
And then we do the star. And again, uh, here there's a manual because uh, that's uh, Paris. It's part of the approach as well. They're going to put us on a radar, radar vectors to intercept. That's the localizer, the final approach. And here, that's finally the runway. In case we have to go around, then the go around, which in Paris is quite straightforward. It's uh, straight on this heading to 5,000 feet. So that's why we don't have a big, a um, lot of weapon there. So all the weapons from the FMS there are shown on the navigation display, which is our uh, green route. So here you see next waypoint will be in three nautical miles. Now we start, like I said, a lot of waypoints. So when you go to the range, you see it's 25 nautical miles here. We're just approaching the next one. And then we can increase the range to see. So here, that's, uh, that's Ankara in here. Istanbul is in here. Then we go to Bulgaria. And then Romania, Bucharest, and the l biggest range we can have here, it's up to Budapest. Um, so we can see the routing, we got the weather, which is there as well, but no, it's clear sky, luckily. So we don't see anything. If I put the rain, for example, then you see, like I said, we're above the, the Black Sea, and then we're going to enter Europe again here, and uh, that's the Mer Mediterranean Sea here. We can go up to Italia. Okay, that's it. And then we have another chart, which I can show you. Okay, this computer is actually holding all the world chart and maps and charts uh, from all the airports and uh, en route charts as well. Okay, the airplane is not displayed here. It's working on the GPS. The airplane is actually situated in the middle of the screen. So now our next waypoint is Odmax, which is here, and we're on our route direct point to Negem. We can select the terrain here, as you see. We can increase the range to get a better, sorry, a better ID of the terrain. That's Turkey, then that's uh, the Dead Sea, and then the Dead. I will never get this one, huh? That's the Black Sea, and then we're going to enter to Bulgaria, like I said, and uh, the Vigos range back to Europe. On this chart, we cannot get weather. It's only a nav um, en route chart, navigation, just to see where we are. We can select all the airports. Okay, so in blue, this is all the airports. Uh, this is Bucharest, uh, this is Istanbul, and uh, what else we can call, but then it starts to be a bit... We can put the airways as well, but when we arrive in Europe, like I was saying, it's getting really, you see a lot, a lot of airways. So then we don't really see where we are, so there's no use of putting the airways on uh, Europe. We can put the navet, which is... Uh, navigation aid and uh, airspace are put and that's it. As well on this um, on this uh, computer we can select the terminal chart so that's the approach. When we go from the uh, transition from the end route and we start the descent then we're gonna go on um, on the uh, approach like I was briefing at this point we all starting the descent to Paris so they give us some constraint of altitude and speed, and we all follow the same, and they, are, they know where we are. So this is the chart. So from the en route, we go to this one, da da da, follow. Then we get to a point like, sorry, where I said we're gonna have uh, radar, then that's ATC who's bringing us for the ILS. For the ILS, so we're gonna intercept in here. The runway, we... Uh, I think it's going to be zero eight right, most probably. And then uh, when we get on the ground, we will follow this. Wait, so we should be landing here, crossing here, to go to this terminal, which is Terminal C. All the red routes that you see, especially because we have charts, especially for 380 and 78, uh, 747, 800, sorry. Uh, there is some taxiways that we cannot take be 
because of the the white the wheel width 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 the width because of the width of our uh, wings so those are indicated in red but anyway the airport knows about it we just have to double check that we are not using those taxiways and that's it so that was a short summary about the system and what's going on right now at this time of the cruise. Actually, this aircraft, I have to admit, it's a real jewel. Don't you think, Shaima? You've been on it for two years now. Yeah, um, I really love uh, flying 380. It's uh, obviously a big aircraft, a powerful engine. And um, comparing to the 320, because I came from 320, uh, it's way smoother in terms like if... Um, of weather and then at first when I s uh, moved to 380 because I used to fly 320 I was expecting this aircraft to be like uh, difficult to fly sluggish and not easy slow reacted but uh, uh, honestly it flies the same same as 320 here in 380 it's um, a larger uh, cockpit so uh, bigger screens big views that's the reason why I like to fly 380 for Etihad Airways. Okay, so now that we have a little bit of time, I will introduce myself. My name is Sophie Blanchard. I'm uh, captain on the 380 for Etihad Airways. As you can uh, hear, I'm French, and uh, I'm uh, captain with Etihad since 2010. I was the first uh, graded uh, female captain in the company, as I was the first one who joined the company in 2007. Um, when I joined, I uh, was uh, hired on a 330 as a first officer, then 340 first officer, then I was upgraded on a 330. So 330 captain, 340 captain, I never flew the 320 because it was not 320 when I joined. And uh, by seniority, uh, they put me on the 380 when 380 came. Before, uh, actually, I was already flying for Etihad, but with my uh, previous company, I came in UAE flying the Airbus 300, 600, and 310, 300 cargo as Etihad has uh, starting a new cargo department, but they had no aircraft, so to start they used my ex-company, which was an Icelandic company, Atlanta Icelandic. And before that I was uh, flying the 300-600 Airbus in a Belgium company called Citybird. And in that company when I joined I was uh, actually flying, I was hired on the Boeing 767. I did uh, two years on this one, it was a charter company, really nice company. Um, but unfortunately we bankrupt, so we moved all to the Icelandic company. And before that where I started my career was in Africa for an African company. Uh, the plane was a DC-855 cargo. A really really old plane and uh, I think it's kind of a uh, legend when I talk to that to my uh, my colleagues they really envy me to uh, to fly it, uh, that I was lucky enough to fly this plane and uh, before that uh, I just did uh, my uh, study I had I had uh, initially an American license and then I went to Europe for my ATPL, so now I got an uh, American EASA license and a UA license. Actually, like uh, you heard, I did most of my career on Airbus. Uh, really love Airbus. I think it's really an advanced uh, aircraft, especially the 380. And the best of it, it's uh, mostly French. <laughs> So what is it about being a woman in aviation? Let me tell you, uh, now it's kind of an exceptional day because we are both female uh, cockpit crew. Everybody thinks it's exceptional, but actually I don't see where because we are doing the same job as the men. It's just that maybe we're uh, more pretty <laughs> and more proficient. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, 
No, the people, they always get impressed. You know, when we go out, see uh, after the flight or before the flight, we see the passenger, they're all really impressed. Wow, a female in the cockpit. But actually, I said, be careful. One day, you're going to be really impressed to see a male <laughs> in the cockpit. <laughs> so, um, when I started, it was quite hard, I would say, on uh, DC-8 planes, especially cargo flights in Africa. It was not um, common to see a female. But I've been fighting hard and uh, actually was a really good school. So when I went to Europe, to a more company, like more organized, more, um, how you say, respectful to lady, and lady were coming more and more and more in the airline, it was easier for me. When I joined Etihad, the first thing the management uh, said, because I was the first uh, female pilot, they came and tell me that if I have any problem on board the cockpit, I have to report it, and they will support me 100%. And actually, so far, I never had a big problem, big issue, I would say, because I'm a female. Everything is fine. and. If something happens, I know that I have the support of my management. So I'm not scared. I'm fine. I feel it really relaxed. Uh, my colleagues are respectful. Of course, if I can say I prefer to fly with a female, because we can talk about stuff. <laughs> um, that's it. So here I'm going to do, I'm going to set the PTV. It's a break to a V8 for runway 08. All right, runway is right is 2,700 meter, which is shows here in this navigation display, 2,700 meter. So normally we vacate up to the wet line. So Captain uh, Sophie, you agree we vacate in Vector 7, yep. yep. So this is set to Vector 7, PTV is set, and it's explained here in the and D, runway 08, 2700, exit V7, distance, and the time. That's the time that for the break to go below 300 in uh, the turnaround. Eh? Yeah, the last one. So this is set for runway 08, uh, right. So FMS is set and everything is set. I'm doing now the landing performance. This will tell us uh, the exact uh, distance we'll be stopping on the runway. Uh, normally, uh, if we're expecting uh, two runway news, so we do the landing performance for multiple runways. So we're expecting 0, 08 uh, right and 0, 09 left. And then we insert to the weather information. That's the latest. Latest, yeah. Which is Delta. Right, uh, 7, 8, Delta, Delta, Core Channel, Liviana, 134, that's right, 350, goodbye. 3450, uh, 7, 8, Delta, Delta. Just to keep good, huh? Yep. Not dry, yeah. So it's dry, yeah? Uh, if it starts raining, then you have the, the worst case scenario. Okay, so we put good. good yeah. Anti ice on. Anti ice. Oh. No, an engine only. Because it's broken 600 feet, so we're going to keep the anti ice. Yep. So we're going to 
So anti ice engine only. Yes. I use three five five. So landing uh, distance here, landing way it is three three five five, three five four. Yeah. Three five four. Landing configuration, other catch on, aircraft type. Manual reverse. Yes. Um but just to be conservative, just put that to Yeah, even if you don't put, uh, I put without and we still have 600 okay. meters, as you want. Still a compute. Okay, we have um, information for both runway. Uh, zero eight uh, right, which we expecting to land on. Uh, Landing uh, distance is 1,750 meters. Fact factored landing distance 2013, and a stop margin 687. Uh, Bob, one. Uh, uh, good afternoon. Three six. One approaching Maria level three eight zero. And good runway to 2,700. So we okay. This is for zero eight right and zero nine left. Landing distance one seven two nine. Factored one nine eight nine. Formation all checked. Yep. Check. Yes. Eight eight four seven kilo cord and only two beam one one nine of a similar eight eight zero. One one nine eight eight zero. It's at four seven kilo. Bye bye. Canada 5673 Canada 5673 and I'm going to brief uh, Captain Sophie uh, about the decent preparation and all type of approaches uh, we're going to do. So aircraft status is checked. Uh, we don't have anything uh, special. So weather is checked and uh, short goal. Uh, no time. Nothing special in the airport. Some taxi closure, but it's not going to affect uh, our taxi routes for today. As you expect to taxi in 08 to uh, right. So we start uh, from the arrival. The captain, I just gonna read from the FMS if he can follow me in the arrival chart. So from Vidas, Vidas, we have uh, altitude to concern 280 and the speed is 280 to extreme. And then from extreme to uh, Inori, and then Inori to Devon, Devon flight level uh, 160, or below, to Lorne. So from there, from the arrival, we send the initial uh, approach for runway uh, zero at right. So from Puno, we're going to Papa Golf 501, uh, 15. And then we'll start uh, the approach. I'm just preparing the chart on my side. So I list um, La Casa runway zero at right. Uh, chart number 21-2, effect 31 of January. Uh, it's localizer 10855, Delta Sierra Eco. And uh, uh, airport elevation is 392, minimum uh, safe altitude is 3200. So 15 miles uh, from the ILS, we should be 5000. And then from there, we continue descent till the three short. In case of go around, we climb straight ahead. Five thousand. And they will set radial. Uh, they will set radial zero uh, eight seven and follow that procedure. Good afternoon. Uh, alternate flight land route is inserted in case we uh, go around and, and we, we need to, we have to divert to the other runway, to the other port, sorry. 
performance. Uh, latest weather is inserted. Uh, Share the goal. Weather looks fine. Minima is cross checked with the uh, Etihad uh, Minima. And uh, yeah. Turns out to 070. And approaching to the. Uh, Approaching uh, close to the airport, we can answer to the VOR in here. It will be decelerated approach, full flap, and um, fully stable, 2000 above the uh, airdrome uh, elevation. Uh, after we land, as we discussed earlier, we expect to vacate uh, using PTV via Victor 7. And, um, and then we follow. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Exactly Our stand, yeah. uh, parking stand, terminal, terminal two. C. Yeah, uh, we expecting Charlie Fox Echo. Yeah, Charlie Fox Echo. So Victory Seven, and then we cross the other runway as we instructed Romeo to the gate. Uh, I think. Uh, did I forget anything? Landing performance is done. Yep. Yeah, we fine. Weather is okay. All is good. And yeah, that's all. Okay, I uh, just yeah. want to precise some point because I'm quite used to Paris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just be careful. Uh, this waypoint has nothing to see with, it's called by the ILS, but it has nothing to see with the, the DME. Huh? Yeah. So it's seven, this is the DME, 17. 7 and 15, exactly. So don't believe that when you're going to, yeah. if you get directed to this point, you're going to be too high or something. Yes. It's nothing to see. You still have a lot of uh, 14, sure. 16, uh, 20, uh, 21 yeah. DME before. Okay. So that's one point. Second point, uh, diversion fuel is 12 tons. Oh, yeah, this is a much more thing. Yeah. Fuel. But uh, we cannot continue towards destination until we get a broken at 700 because we need 500 feet Check. per company uh, minimum yeah. above the decision altitude, which is 200 plus 500, it's 7, so by 100 officially we cannot yeah. go. And the uh, runway is wet, so be careful. Full yeah. reverse, below yeah. 2,600 meters. Yes. Full flaps. Yeah, flap full, fully stable, full reverse. Oh, Max right. reverse. Yeah. Max reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Hello, hi everyone. Hope you're enjoying the flight uh, with us today. My name is Shayma. I've been flying uh, 380 for uh, more than two years. And before that, I uh, was flying uh, 320 for four years and a half. Um, I started my career with uh, Etihad a uh, long time back. Uh, Etihad sponsored me. I did my uh, studying uh, in um, Horizon Aviation in uh, I've got my license and um, I started flying uh, since that. Um, uh, before that, uh, I did uh, my study in business. I got my bachelor degree in finance. And meanwhile, I'm doing my master in uh, aviation management. Uh, I start my job flying 320. Uh, it's a um, really challenging aircraft. It's, um, it teach, uh, teach a lot of things. Uh, it's got different destination, the different weather. Uh, once one in India, as uh, pilots know, uh, you really learn, and I was so happy to start my career in 320. I, I've learned a lot on this aircraft, uh, but uh, eventually flying 380 is something very nice, completely different. Uh, I love it so much. It's a very nice aircraft. Uh, of course, there's different destination too, and uh, as I said uh, earlier, I've uh, been working uh, at the TAD for more than um, eight years. It's really lovely to, uh, to work um, with the Etihad Airways. Uh, a very nice environment. Uh, uh, obviously, I couldn't have uh, done it without Etihad. They sponsored me. They uh, helped me from the beginning. And, uh, and now I'm flying this amazing aircraft, the biggest uh, aircraft uh, on the world, 380. And I hope you enjoy uh, the flight with us today, and uh, see you later.
Hey guys, uh, just to let you know where we are, which phase of flight. Uh, now we did the whole uh, descent and approach and landing preparation. Uh, Shaima just gave me a briefing. Um, in 10 minutes from now, we're going to do a PA just to advise uh, the passenger that uh, descent will start soon. The service will stop to give them the uh, latest weather in Paris and uh, if any uh, turbulence expected and something. And then in 20 minutes uh, from now, we're going to start slowly our descent according to ATC to Paris. Uh, so far everything's fine, the weather is okay in Paris, it's a bit uh, rainy and uh, uh, cloudy, uh, 10 degrees. We'll see uh, if the approach will be good and uh, see you on the ground then. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is your first officer speaking. We are about to commence our descent to uh, Short Girl International Airport. During descent, I shall be switching the seat for sign. On and please remain seated until we reach our final parking position. Weather in Paris uh, look good, great. We are expecting some rains in a few clouds uh, over the vicinity of the airports. Uh, exact time of arrival, local time, uh, 1.55. And we are 25 minutes ahead of schedule. And uh, on behalf of Captain Sophie and the rest of our navy crew, we'd like to thank you to choose to fly with it had a way. Thank you so much. Shukran uh, 47 Kilo Roger, descent flight over 370. Descent flight over 370, Roger, had 47 Kilo. 370 Blue, check. Okay, thrust idle, descent. Transformer, Roma Delta, climb flight over 390. Climbing flight level 390, Air Force 41, Roma Delta. Uh, 47 kilo descent flight level 310 level uh -huh. at rapport. Okay, it's on descent at level 310 level at rapport. It's at 470. Sorry. 888 no, uniform contact uh, protocol. Clear fuel. Clear fuel. At zero. Speed selected 300. Check. Appareil bonjour. It's at 47 kilo super maintaining 310 speed 300. It's at 47 kilo super bonjour, we just eight echo arrival, descent flight level 280. Vedus 8 echo, descent level 280, it's at 47 kilo. Okay, descent to 80 blue check. for the arrival. Yeah, check. It's at 47 kilo, descent flight level 160, can you take 310 knots or more? Uh, it's at 47 kilo, descent level 160, and we take 310 knots. Thank you. 160, descent, yes. and speed 310. Check. Et il y a de 47 kilo, proceed to Devim direct. Direct Devim, et il y a 47 kilo. Ok, direct to Devim. Check. Devim. Devim, direct. Okay, thrust idle. Primaire 7, Radar Alpha, bonjour. Mais mobile 8 Echo Arrival, proceed to Devim. Mobile 8 Echo Arrival, direct Devim, Primaire 7, Nova Bar. Et il y a de 47 kilo, descent level 150. Descent level 150, il y a 47 kilo. 150, check. One thousand. Thanks. Et il y a de seven kilo speed two eight zero knots. Contact the goal one two one one five five. Bye. A speed two eight zero one two one one five five. Et il y a de seven kilo. Merci à vous. Okay, trust idle and we're going to eight zero. Two eight zero. Check.
Uh, the Gold Bond Great Yacht 47 Kilo Super approaching Class Level 1 5 0, reducing speed to 8 0. 847 Kilo, bonjour, clear de Lorny 5 Echo Approach, for the Vectors ILS 08 Right, descent flight level 110. Descent flight level 110, uh, Lorny 5 Echo for 08 Right. 847 Kilo, descent flight level 80, then reduce speed to 37 knots. Descent flight level 80 and reduce speed to 37 knots, 847 Kilo. Okay. Cross open descent, 8,000 flight level 8, 8 0, zero. Don't see any traffic around here to see. Just use the speed brake. Speed brake out. I'm not sure, Captain, how long she will take us all the way over. No idea. Yeah, so I just go. Be prepared, yeah. Air France 151 uniform, bonjour, autorisé, occupé à 5 Echo, guide FILS, 08 droite. Occupé à 5 Echo, vite droite, Air France 151 uniform. Etihad 47 kilo, call sign only, 11815, au revoir. 11815, Etihad 47 kilo, bye bye. Emirates 73, descend flight level 8. De Gaulle, bonjour, Etihad 47 kilo, super. Et puis, à 47 kilo, super, bonjour, vecteur LS, runway 08, right, turn left, heading 250. Left 250, LS, 08, right, et puis, à 47 kilo. Ok, we are heading 250. Check. And we can... Thank you. Sequence, right, right. I give you course in uh, 085, uh, from 15 DME. No. Ok, we are heading. Good. I have that the Sierra Eco. Air France Visit Charlie X-Ray, descendez altitude 5000 pieds que 9013. 5000 pieds que 9013, Air France Charlie X-Ray. Checked. Air France Visit Charlie X-Ray, descendez altitude 47 kilo, turn left heading 220. I left 220, Etihad 47 kilo, and speed 230. Hey, from 230, descend altitude 6000 feet, QNH 1013. Descend 6013, Etihad 47 kilo. Okay, 6000, please. Etihad 73, descend altitude 5000 feet, QNH 1013. 1013, set stages. Yes. Check, then passing 6800. Etihad 47 kilo, turn left heading 180. Left heading 180, Etihad 47 kilo. Uh, 700, 6,700, now. Checked, heading 180. And uh, Baru Red Value? Baru Red Value 1013 is set. 1013 set, approach checklist complete. Thanks. So in heading 6,000. Speed on Alpha. 35 Speed Alpha. Bonjour, Alpha. intercept localizer 08 right. Intercept localizer 08 right, 35 on Alpha. Etihad 47 kilo, turn left heading 120, descend altitude 5000 feet, QNH 1013, clear the LS 08 right. 13. 5000, Etihad 47 kilo. 5000 blue? Check, 4 radio, automatic 1 2 lock blue. Okay, let's take flap on this. So, I'm going to set ILS 08 right, Charlie 5 Checked. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Qui a de force 7 kilo, hello. Uh, six miles behind a 318, wind 020 degrees, 10 knots, runway 08 right, clear to land. Clear to land, it's at 47 kilo. Reading A to Papa Charlie, hello, behind the 318, uh, ahead from Tango 3, line up and wait, runway 08 left behind. Good afternoon, uh, behind the line, uh, the okay, uh, traffic, uh, line up and wait, runway 08 left by Tango 3, pulling A to Papa Charlie behind. Radio altimeter live. Check the flaps three. Gonna be airspeed check. Flaps three. Checked. And flap full. Speed check. Flaps full. Landing checklist anytime. Cabin ready. Checked. Cabin crew advised. Auto thrust mode on speed. Auto brake. BTV. Landing checklist complete. We are clear to land. Checked. Uh, Emirates 1, 3 Super, hello, uh, 6 miles behind the 380, wind 0, 2, 0 degrees, 11 knots, runway 0, 8 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 0, 8 right, Emirates 7, 3. Air France 78, Alpha X-ray, contactez De Gaulle départ, au revoir. Alpha départ, Air France 78, Alpha X-ray, au revoir. France 18, Charlie X-ray, maintenez avant la piste 0, 8 gauche, point d'attente sur 6. Maintenez sur 6, avant la 8 gauche, Air France, uh, Charlie X-ray. Vietnam 1 0, hello behind the 330 ahead from Tango 4 line up and wait on way 08 left behind. 3 nautical launch contact, check off for point. Tango 4, Vietnam 1 0. Large jet 2 1 2, wind 0 2 0 degrees, 11 knots, one way 08 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 08 left, clear for takeoff, checked. Runway inside. Runway inside, checked. This can cut a pilot? Check. Get one. Checked. Putting A to Papa Charlie, contact the Goli Parcha. Stable, checked. The Parcha will be able to Papa Charlie. Land. Check. 100 above. Check. Checked. Minimum. Tenure. Eighty. Seventy. Sixty. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Reverse spoilers, BTV diesel. Uh, 1 0 wind 0 2 0 degrees 10 knots, runway 0 8 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 0 8 left, Vietnam 1 0. I have control, you have it. Manual break. Checked. Sergeant 212, contact the goal departure. Bye bye. The goal departure is bye bye. Sergeant 212. Jet 47 kilo, hold short of runway 08 left, holding point Sierra 7. Sierra 7, hold short 08 left, it can hide the point 7 kilo. Check. Oh, Sierra 7, checked. Charlie Fred, traverser la piste 08 gauche, après la traversée, contactez 121 980. On traverse la 08 gauche et après la traversée 121 980, Air France Charlie, au revoir. 7 force 1 kilo, cross runway 08 left after crossing, contact ground 12198. Ok, cross runway 08 left after crossing 12198. Yeah. Jersey 561 Alpha, hello, 7 miles behind the 380, wind 02. 
And you can, okay, Put that's close, right. Uh, right. It's uh, 380 at touchdown. Alors, France 91, Zulu Romeo, bonjour, de Tango 4, alignez-vous et attendez, piste 08 gauche. Bonjour, Air France 91, Zulu Romeo, depuis euh, Tango 4.
soon as she said the speed down, the flex and the radius was as well. Sure. Because this one we're gonna get to. We can take it apart from now if we want. No need until she has to reduce. If you're already below the speed. Lock start, check. So then it's your own speed.
1000. Cross first, uh, left is clear. So second left, I uh, got it, and uh, can you please put the end test up? Sure.
Tango Alpha 2 is the entrance, huh? Yes. No, it's Tango Alpha 3. Three. Uh, three, yeah. So I think we're going to go four. to Charlie Fox Whiskey. Mm -hmm. The one after, huh? After, yeah. yeah. Charlie Fox Eco, we go to Charlie Fox Whiskey. Can you cross here? Because I don't have the. Sure. I think uh, the one uh, we're gonna have it here. So, anyway, it's yeah. Tango Alpha 2. Huh? Yeah, just come up yeah, Tango Alpha 2. Yeah, so we cannot make this one anymore. Anyway. Slightly left and right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And APU is available if you want to like? Yes. Yeah. APU is uh, started and after landing checklist. Check. Charlie Fox whiskey inside. Yeah. Lights are off. Lights off. Yeah, check.
exactly on the line. <laughs> okay, Lida. Okay, that's the end of our flight. We finished all our uh, checklist. Captain Sophie is saying goodbye to the passenger. Uh, this flight, uh, we had to de deviate from the weather and then we uh, had the approach. Port was nice and good, a uh, little bit uh, cloudy. And uh, because of cloud, uh, we saw the runway like 600 uh, feet away. And it was a nice, good landing. I, I feel great about it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we look forward to see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Hey, Shima. So the passengers are all left now. Yeah. Uh, they're really happy about the flight. Yeah. So nice. congratulations for the landing. That's thank what they told so me. Much. I said that was not me, that was my colleague. So thank, thank you, you very thank much. Thank you, Captain. Thank really you. Appreciate. you